All right, coming to you live from Round Rock, we've got two visitors in from Dell uh, Silicon Valley. We've got Darius Goodall, and we've got Cliff Wishman. Hey! <laughs> so, uh, gents, we're talking about our recent announcement in the networking space. Uh, who wants to kick it off? Yeah, so two years, two, three years ago, uh, we started disrupting the market with disaggregating the hardware from the software. Um, and we haven't stopped there. Now we're actually disaggregating the software elements themselves. And this is the magic that OS X is really going to bring to the market. It's very, very different. Completely disaggregated model. And Cliff, why don't you take us through the fundamental elements of it? Sure. Um, essentially what we've, we've announced is a server on a switch. So it's a, a server with a set of drivers that enable the switch level functionality. So it's a standard Linux uh, distribution. Uh, we're actually currently using Debian. Um, and it's a wonderful OS that has a lot of capabilities, a lot of features. So on top of the nice Debian OS, we've included our drivers. And then we actually have our, our Dell Premium stack that will be coming on, coming in the future. And the Dell Premium stack has all those fancy routing and CLIs that you come to know for, for existing switches. But at the same time, you also have very nice de developer operations, like a DevOps interface in our base, in our Linux environment. So uh, just a question, OS X, um, well, does that replace the current operating system we have for our switches? Is it in, in addition to, and, and how are they different, if so? That's an excellent question. So the existing switches are built off of a, a NetBSD platform, and it, it, is a little bit, uh, it is a little bit older because of this NetBSD platform, and uh, the Linux-based is going to be supplanting it going forward in the future. So uh, there will be a time before all of the features are in this OS X environment, that are there in the previous FTOS environment, but uh, we're definitely going to get there. And then we do expect this same OS to be running on the different Dell switches, like all of our Dell switches in the future. Okay, so it will be our mainline software going forward, absolutely. So, you know, one of the things I think you touched on it briefly was um, the timeline. Do you mind just sort of saying where we're at? You just announced this, gosh, was yeah, it so two weeks ago? That's right. So we just and, announced yeah. this, we just announced this, and in March we're going to be release, releasing the base version of the software. So we're in beta right now and doing very well. Um, and then come Ju end of June, July time frame, we're going to release the uh, premium applications on top of that as well. And how will the premium app version uh, differ? The premium app version will actually have all of the fancy CLIs that you, you come to know today. So the, the base that it was announced and will be delivered in March is the more of a DevOps friendly environment. It's, it's basically your standard server environment. When we deliver the premium applications, that's going to be more of a, a, a set of switching packages that sit on this nice standard Linux environment. So with Linux, you could use Quagga today with the, the base that will be out in March. But in the future, with the Dell apps, you'll be using, there's a much more fancy, much more comprehensive routing suite that we'll be offering. Awesome. And so just to double click and end with, what is the DevOps play here? How does this function in the DevOps yeah. world? So, so this, is, this is an interesting time as well, because as we can see over here, at the top of the screen, we see DevOps meets NetOps, and that's that's very interesting, right? So again, to, to Cliff's point, what we're doing here is we're creating a funny-looking switch with, uh, sorry, funny-looking server with 48 ports of Ethernet on the back of it, and we've got a Linux-based operating system. So the DevOps side of it is how do you orchestrate things, how do you automate things, how do you integrate Linux-based applications into your switching environment, which is stuff that's never been done before. What does that mean, right? So this is kind of getting the the mind juices flowing, and now we're we're into uh, into new territory and exciting territory. And I'd like to also support that discussion with our, with one of the interfaces that we didn't mention so far. We actually added a really programmatic interface into the base, um, into this uh, OS X environment that uh, is called CPS, and it really allows a nice uh, scripting environment for, for applications to come in and program ASICs, like program things that they can never do before, actually. So you can actually uh, change ACLs, you can do um, S-flows, you can do port mirroring, right. you can do a lot of capabilities uh, through this nice CPS interface, which you can actually script in Python. So again, we we really try to enable developers. We really try to enable our our channel partner, like our third party partners, to to help us out and uh, create these innovative applications. Awesome, Cliff Darius, thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks very much.